Hey guys, Sweet Leet Roll coming at you back again with another Call of Duty Mega Block set review. This time it's the Seal Sub Recon. It comes with 171 pieces and is for ages 10 and up. Hey bro, why are you even reviewing this set? It's so boring and uninteresting. No one even cares. Well, I'm sorry, but that's what it is. It's not Mega Bloks' fault. In fact, once again, they've delivered a high quality, reasonably priced construction set. Is it Call of Duty the game's fault? No! They're just a game that mirrors real life. No, you see, it's actually the fault of the United States Navy! Hey, idiots! You know you can make a vehicle that is tactical, utilitarian, and fancy? It's called the Mini Cooper! I know good old Marky Mark wouldn't try and pull a heist with anything else. Whatever. Thanks to the good old US of A, we've got an SDV here, also known as a SEAL delivery vehicle. This oversized piece of equipment uh, was made to transport United States Navy SEALs at high speeds underwater. And when we see it for the first time in Modern Warfare 2, it's doing just that in the mission The Only Easy Day Was Yesterday. Anyways, as for the actual set, its piece count is low, and its design is simple. And I'm not even joking when I say that I put the two figures it comes with together faster than the actual sub. Speaking of which, let's talk about them. Well, they're certainly both... green. At least their base bodies are, and their weapons. However, to distinguish them from one another, uh, they were given uh, different colors each for their uh, chest pieces, masks, goggles, and flippers. One is silver, and the other is black. The mask designs are also different from previous Mega Block sets. Originally, Navy SEALs came with a mask that looks something along the lines of... this. But now, they just come with this mask which is more accurate to what's portrayed in the game, trust me. I dusted off my PS3 just to fact check that. And to pwn some scrubs on multiplayer. Now, as for the uh, weapons they come with, the one on the right here comes with my favoriteest gun ever, IRL, the uh, Vector K10. As per usual, Mega Bloks includes a red dot sight with it, and that grip there is removable. Guy on the left comes with a far more interesting gun. Now, the base body and the stock are pretty generic, but the barrel, I have, like, the barrel! I have no idea what this thing is. I mean, it kind of looks like a Turkish USG shot, no, that's not it. The Turkish UTS-15 uh, shotgun, but I mean, it really could be anything. It's just this weird, futuristic looking design that I'm not even going to pretend to try and comprehend. It, it's just absolutely ridiculous. When you add a magazine piece though to the gun, it looks much cooler. It looks like some high-tech futuristic assault rifle as compared to some weird shotgun type thing. So if you got a spare magazine lying around, definitely attach it. Alright, let's move on to the actual set portion of this set. Get out of here! Fools. Starting from the uh, front of the set here, we have a little opening for the uh, driver to sit in. That light's trying to get off. Push that back on. And there's a little opening for the driver to sit in, and he can operate these uh, controls here. Now, you'll see that there are special custom designs on there, and that actually is all printed. There are no stickers, um, which is a policy of Mega Bloks to print all their details, and I really like it. Another weird thing to point out about this, though, is that. Um, they gave me an extra one of these front pieces, like, I have no idea why I'd need an extra one, or how they included this, because usually they only include small, you know, minor pieces that you might lose or whatever, but like, including an extra one of these? Whatever. It's... It's weird. Uh, anyway, so it also comes with a uh, steering wheel for the uh, driver to uh, use. Now, the steering wheel itself looks more like it belongs in a Mini Cooper, rather than a Mini Sub. But you know what? I don't really care. It, you know, it doesn't distress me all that much, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, on the front here, there are two lights here, uh, both of them with uh, bright yellow bricks. Now here's the set's main feature. Uh, this hatch right in the middle here that folds open like this in the middle. 
It's a pretty cool mechanism, and when you fold it back up, it's also very durable. Attached to these hatches are two handles, so two on each side for a grand total of four. This is where the Navy SEAL figures can hang on to the craft. Here's what it looks like with all possible spaces on the craft filled up, by the way. It's uh, pretty cool. Inside the hatch here, you will find this red uh, mini care package here. The reason they use that, I think, is because the big packages just inherently do not fit. The package itself has enough room for uh, one pair of the uh, minifigures flippers or one of their guns, whichever you prefer. Finally, moving on to the uh, back of the set, there's this large circular piece here. Yes, that is all one piece. Uh, and it houses the sub's propulsion fan. And guess what? It spins. Woo! And there you have it, the Mega Bloks Call of Duty Seal Sub Recon Set. Now, as always, if you liked this video, then like the video. And if you like this video and want to see more videos that are just like this video, please hit subscribe. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and this is Sweet Leap Roll, rolling out. Have a good one, guys. Hey, I just saw a FedEx truck roll up. Is that for you? It's here. Legends are real.